After two weeks of some big, big drops of some lower weeks, we are back. We have finally hit another big week and I'm going to take you through all the details of how I did it. So let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Chris Ferlong and if you are new here, I'm about running, reselling, lifestyle and everything in between and today I'm taking you through what sold for week number 33 of my reselling journey. Now I've been doing this for a while and it's been a roller coaster of events and we're gonna sh I'm going to show you that in a second but the first thing we're going to kick off with is the five top items I've sold this week and of course throughout this entire video, take you through all the data to back it up and uh, if you do have questions, leave them in the comments below because I will answer them as we progress into the coming weeks. So let's get started. So top item number one was this, once again, it was another antique 1917 uh, Australian front magazine and it was the original, but it had been rebound. Now I picked this up for 70 cents, sold this for $62.50, profit $54.43. Top item number two, this was a Tucker Real Australian Food Book. Now I paid 36 cents for this one. I kid you not, 36 cents. Sold it for $49.97 after fees, postage, all that jazz. Profit of $42.73. Top item number three was uh, a Poems of Walt Whitman. Now this one I had no idea about. Just did some research because it was in a part of a bundle that I got. Paid 36 cents. Sold it for $47. That's $39.86. Now these are the things that you cannot skip, right? If you've got a whole bunch of books, go through, have a look. If it's curious, if it looks interesting, if it's unique, old, it's vintage, look it up, try and understand. And just because you can't find comps on it doesn't mean it's not worth something. I put it up, it sold very, very quick. I'd probably put it too low. Top item number four. Now here we have an Australian Aussie Kangaroos ARL Rugby League jersey. Uh, this one sat around for a little bit, but it cost me $4, $4.17, sold it for just shy of 50 bucks and a profit of $39.76 after fees and postage. Top item number five. This one was some genuine Canon ink. Now this one was given to me just because people were getting rid of their ink, cost me $0, sold it for $40 or $39.97, profited $36.78 after fees and postage. So the flops, the wins, the lessons, all those details for this week. Fortunately, there was no flops this week. There was some lessons, however, because I've been seeing some really, really good growth. One of the problems I've been experiencing is managing my postage supplies. Now I've got lots of postage supplies, but sometimes I haven't been regulating it or checking it enough to understand that all of a sudden I'm out and this is becoming a, a problem it's a good problem because it means I'm growing but this one I'm still figuring out and you know I've been trying to you know get my processes in place get my friction points removed and now this one is something else which I just have to manage it's it's like running an inventory right so um, I'm keen to hear how do you manage your postage supplies and ensure that you've always got something in stock um, and of course, with the price point going up from the 1st of September, it's very key to see if you can order in advance, get all the packaging that's a little cheaper before the price goes up. Uh, so just looking at that for this week, but yeah, once again, coming back to the supply management of the postage supplies, I think it's very important to get this in check because otherwise you're getting to your end of weekend, you've got 25 sales you need to uh, pack and send off and you realize you're out of a certain satchel or you're out of a certain something and Yes, I've got backup things, I've got other boxes and things like that, but it just puts process flows out of joint. So yeah, that's definitely a lesson for this week. Some big wins though, guys. Uh, we've managed to hit my second highest week ever, which is interesting because it was not that long ago I hit my biggest week ever and now we're hitting my second biggest week ever. Um, not too far apart either. So highest quantity sold in terms of total items and yeah, I think it was about 68 items and I have managed to unlock band number five on the Australia Post business savings. So if you're not on Australia Post business, get on it because you will get savings, especially with the new postage uh, prices going up from the 1st of September. I did also manage to pick up a bulk haul, uh, which I'm still sorting through, going through, but it is proving to be quite lucrative already. Uh, so keep an eye out for people in your local area. I know with lockdown at the moment, things are a little crazy and it's a bit hard to source, but keeping it local, helping people, people still have to move, people still have to you know, get rid of things and see what you can do to take it off their hands. All right, so for this week as a summary, as I mentioned, it has been my second best week. 68 sales, margin of 56.95%. Cost of goods being $338, uh, sold $1,714 worth and a profit of $976. So super proud of this week. It's, it's been interesting. And if we have a look over at the things that I've been selling, average cycle time is 46 days. Once again, the big winner for this week has been Dun, 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 books, of course, uh, which seems to be my biggest uh, bread and butter item. Then I got DVDs, got toys, and we've got a few other things in there as well. I've got some clothes actually for this week, 
did really, really well. I sold quite a lot of shirts. Um, and it's just interesting to see this progress through, right? But once again, I've got a, a good range of different items coming through. Actually, the CDs have, have really pushed up for this week as well. And yeah, I'm just surprised to see what's selling at the moment. I know with, with everything that's going on, it is a bit overwhelming, but I'm keeping my focus, keeping my consistency. And I'm gonna to touch on that shortly. Um, but these are all the things that have been working for me and majority of them have been books. Um, that's just because that's what I've purchased from my latest hauls. But you know, anything else I get, I try and sell too. So I hope this can encourage you. And if you're curious to understand a bit more about this, ask a question, ask a question, because I will do my best to answer. So average is up. We've moved up from $830 to $857. We've done $1,700 for this week. As you can see, the last two weeks, we dropped down. We had back-to-back, -back almost identical weeks um, coming out from my highest week ever. So it has been that roller coaster journey. And sometimes it's very hard to predict what's gonna happen. Next week might be my worst, next week might be my best. So we're gonna keep charging on and I haven't changed any process or any way that I'm doing things. If anything, I'm sticking very consistent. And you can see that in my listings and in my sales. So listings, I'm still averaging around, you know, 16.4 per day. Last week I did, I think it was 17 per day. So that is, I'm keeping that as consistent as possible. And this hasn't been pure new listings. I've been doing the, as I touched in my last video last week is, um, you know, ending items and selling similar, just to make sure I'm getting those items, which are as old as 90 days. Uh, back into the system fresh right in front of people's eyeballs uh, we did do 68 sales which is the most sales in a single week so we've we've done almost 10 sales per day which is just just overwhelming it's just incredible to see weekly flow here you can see it actually has been a pretty pretty consistent week not so much of the the bumpy rides but we started off pretty high ended pretty high and in the middle was pretty consistent so seeing a week like this is it's it's very encouraging to see and I remember looking back and seeing other people doing this and thinking, how the heck am I gonna get there? How the heck is that even possible? Time, consistency, keep putting in the work. And I know it's a bit cliche, but finding friction points, finding things that aren't working, fixing those and continuing to push on because that's the only way you can do it. And of course, the consistency being the key point, which is actually gonna be part of my hot tips for this week. Anyway, $100,000 revenue update. So, yeah, we're still behind. Uh, we've done $26,563. We're on day 223 at the time of this video. Um, we have a long way to go. My ASP is continuing to come down. However, I'm selling more and more than ever. I'm doing bigger quantities. I'm doing great dollars, but it's just not enough. So still working on trying to get this up as high as possible. It's, it's definitely easier said than done because it is, I'm chasing against time here. So we'll keep tracking to it. We'll see how we go at this rate. Um, it's gonna be very interesting to see how we do it, but I'm tracking to it, keeping it honest and uh, showing the full transparency. So hot tip for this week is listings versus sales and basically in a nutshell is finding your consistency. Now, as you can see here on this graph, this is looking at when I started to do 15 listings per day, um, you know, and that was new listings, but also jumping between doing, you know, whether it's 10 resale, um, 10 relists or 10 new items and five relists and just a very variation of those two items because we're in lockdown Because I haven't had new items coming in as such I've been managing my stock quantity so doing less new listings and more Relists, but now that I've got more stock that's come in I'm gonna be able to do 10 new listings and probably five relists just until I get on top of that and those items have been selling quite well Not not lots, but you know every week as I if I do roughly 10 relists per day I'm getting about three or four items per week of those um, actually selling those items that have been sitting there for 90 days. So it's a great way to just move stock, clear up some space. Um, but this graph is to show you that I knuckled down basically at the end of June, start of July, and you know really putting in that work. And as you can see here, the listings have gone up big time, very consistent, and the sales are trending way up, like way up. <laughs> And the only reason I put this here is to show you that the more effort that you put in, not saying hard work in terms of, you know, you need to be feeling it, but what I'm saying is the consistency of putting in the work over time, whether it's your 10 listings, your 15 listings, your real lists, however it is, ensure that you're doing a little bit more than what you're doing prior. Because if you're doing exactly the same and you're not seeing any different results, of course, that, that's probably gonna be a big problem. So see if you can up it 
spice it up a bit and with that is also checking is there's there things you can be doing about promoted listings are you sending offers are you you know making sure that all your data points are up to date around the recommended or required specifics things like that all those little things do help and this is just to show once again that by me actually taking action two months ago i've i've seen some flying numbers uh, for, for, for both July and August and we're coming at the end of August and I'm excited to be able to share that it's probably going to be my best and biggest month yet once again and I can only put that down to the effort that I've put in and doing this consistency so I encourage you do this and if you've got questions reach out let me know more than happy to answer share give ideas I'm not the pro but I'm more than happy to, to do my best and help you achieve what you're looking forward to as well and there's so many more people out in the community that are willing to help as well so videos for this week we have uh august results coming out on wednesday i also have an announcement video coming this week I'm not sure what date that will drop but just a short little thing for something that's coming up at the end of september um i'll have week 14 of the 50k training plan which is a bit of a roller coaster at the moment with lockdown sunday i have a new podcast coming out and live streams for this week if my pokemon cards arrive I will be doing Pokemon card stream, just opening some more up. Um, I need to test out some new streaming software. And then August progress update will come through at some point, either end of this week or probably early next week. So keep an eye out for those things. All these will come out in advance so you can schedule it. Um, you can check them in the description below in case I've already mentioned those details. Otherwise, keep an eye out my community tab because I'm always giving updates there too. So what a week. It has been totally overwhelming, very encouraging. I've been working hard um, and I think there needs to be a balance here as well. It's not all about, you know, just grind, 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 but understanding what can you do that's a little smarter. And I was getting a bit burnt out by doing the 15 listings per day every single day of just, just listing, listing, listing. And... Breaking that up with different items helps, making sure that you have items you know, ready to go in the morning to list makes it a lot easier, but because of everything that's been going on mentally, it can get a little overwhelming just with lockdown. So being able to break that up and do you know, 10 new listings, five relists, or five new listings and 10 relists and things like that, it's helping me just manage that load and it takes a little bit, it takes, it's a lot quicker to do, right? And it means I have a bit more free time to do some other things. And, and whatnot. So if you want to see a bit more about what I do on a weekly basis, I do have a newsletter as well. You can see that in the description below. Sign up. It's free. Come along for a ride. I share a bit more of the insights, things that I'm learning, things that I'm struggling with, um, and you know, just giving my everyday advice. So you're more than welcome to join it. Anyway, that has been week number 33 for my reselling journey. And I, I, I'm so thankful that I've got you guys coming along for the ride. Really do appreciate it and looking forward to see what's next where we're going and how we can continue to help each other to grow and learn and get the best out of this, right? So really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, do the whole shebang and hustle. Ciao.